Everybody does not have Microsoft Project. I know, what kind of world do we live in where everyone can't have Microsoft Project? Someone needs to do something about that. But until they do, we're gonna need to share this information that's in our project plan with people who can't view it in project. And there are a few ways that we can do that. Uh, one of the ways we can do that is we can export our data to Excel. So we learned how to import, now let's go ahead and export some stuff. So I'm gonna export my entire project plan here out into an Excel format. So how do I do that? I'm gonna do a save as. So I'm gonna do file, save as. I'll save it right on my desktop. And I'm gonna simply choose an Excel format. So look at what we have here. We can do a template, we could do a PDF, right? That's important to do. Different Excel formats, we can do text files, CSV files, XML. So we have different ways we can export here. I'm gonna do an Excel workbook. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And it's gonna walk me through an export wizard. So I'm gonna hit next. Now I can choose what I want to export. Do I wanna export the selected data or do I wanna export using the project Excel template? Um, I'm gonna ex uh, export my selected data, meaning the view that I'm currently in. So I'm gonna click next. Now I could choose to use a new map which would then cause me to go and choose what I want and all that. Or I could use an existing map. So let's use an existing map. And let's take a look at what we have. We can choose what we want to export. All right, do we want to export cost data, task information, whatever. Let's do default task information. Okay, and this will save us from having to choose what specific fields we want to export. Click next, I'm exporting tasks with header information. Uh, let's go ahead and include the assignment rows too. All right, so here it's showing me my task data. I can see the tasks I'm exporting and what it looks like. Uh, here is where I could set up a specific uh, sheet for assignments, right? If I want to do that, since I said to just do task data, let's uncheck assignments. We're not going to do that. Let's just do task data. And then we'll go ahead and finish. And if we take a look at our desktop here, we are going to see our Excel file. Let's open that up. And there we go, there's all of our tasks. Let's go ahead and let's clean this up real quick. Boom, let's clean it up a little bit further. All right, marvelous. So here's all of our task data exported right here into Excel. And now we could do whatever kind of uh, arrangements we need to do, right? If I need to want to make a pivot table based on this or, you know, whatever I want to do, uh, I could very easily do that. So, you know, whatever it is, whatever kind of analysis or what have you I'd like to do, there we go. We can do whatever it is that we need to do. And that is absolutely awesome. All right. Beautiful. All right, let me stop playing around in here before I start doing some more uh, stuff that I need to do. All right, so that's exporting to Excel. Uh, I could also choose to just grab a picture of my data. Uh, let's go ahead and do some of that. So I'm going to shrink this down so I just see the task names here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see a little bit more of my Gantt chart. All right. Now, whatever you have displayed here is what's gonna be captured in your picture. So once I have it looking the way I want, I'm going to go over to, let me extend this a little bit more, the task tab, and over on the left, I have a copy area. Now there's a drop down arrow next to copy, and if I click on that, I can choose to just do a copy, and this is gonna put it on the clipboard so I can paste it somewhere else, right? So I'm gonna say uh, copy, and I could then paste it, or I could say copy picture. And when I say copy picture, I could copy it for screen, which will put it on the clipboard, for printer, or to a GIF file. So I'm gonna copy this to a GIF file on the desktop, all right? And I can do a copy of just the rows on screen or selected rows. I can do a time scale as shown on screen or selected time. I'll click OK. Let's take a look, here is our picture. 
And there we go. You can see exactly what I had on the screen was there. Now, of course, this is a little bit difficult because our Gantt chart can be so long, all right? Uh, so this is something better to do, I would think, with like a timeline if you wanted to, or you would need to do separate pictures to capture each uh, portion of the Gantt chart. But this is cool because now I could easily pull that into a presentation if I were in PowerPoint or in Word or whatever, or just an email, I could grab that, send that out, and then we are good to go. Of course, we could also use those programs, PowerPoint Outlook, to capture a screenshot as well, and then be able to send an image that way.